Hi, this is Jamie with CapsuleComputers.com, and today we have a Incipio Lexington here to review. This is a case for the iPad. It'll fit the iPad 2, the iPad 3, and the iPad 4. It, it has a hard backing with a, I guess, like a plasticky leather or, uh, front, so let's uh, get this open. Alright, so we have the case, it clasps, it, it's a hardback, as you can hear, with a bit of a soft front. It clasps like this, it's just a slip clasp really, there's no, it's nothing but uh, friction to hold it steady. And it opens up with a nice, uh, I guess it's a micro suede lining on the inside so it will not scratch your screen. There are some magnets in here to uh, trigger the smart cover. You can sort of see the, I guess, the imprint of the magnet very a very a bit right here. And let's just remove that. And your iPad, your iPad will just snap right in, like so. As you can hear, nice, good click. It actually takes a bit of force to push it in. Alright, and it closes, closes like so. As you can see, it adds a bit of bulk because it is a fully, it's a hard back, but the cover is not that thick. As you can see, there's e very easy access to all of the uh, features and the camera hole, power button, power button, speaker, microphone jack, and actual speaker here, and um, of course the charger. This, since the uh, lightning dock connector on the 4 is just a smaller version of the 30 pin, this, as you can see, will work for the new iPad. So let's just skip ahead right here and uh, proceed with our review. Alright, so I've had uh, some time with the Lexington iPad case, and I have to say I like the case quite a bit, although there's a few things that I found to be not so good. First of all, I really like this color scheme. It's a really nice tan. It comes in five different colors, actually. Tan, a blue, a red, a dark gray, and a black. The back was nice and sturdy. I had never... I never had any issues with the iPad slipping out. In fact, it actually did take quite a bit of force to pop the iPad back out. Um, if you're using any uh, films such as the bodyguards, full body films or whatnot, they will actually fit, but it will make it will make the fit very tight. And well, this back panel makes the whole thing kind of unnecessary, anyways. I really like the angle that Incipio has this at. I found the typing angle to be a lot better than the angle provided by the smart pad and the viewing angle to be much more natural. I find the um, I find the smart pad kind of puts it at about an angle like a viewing angle like this and a really s steep typing angle which is okay but I found that its typing angle in class and whatnot the smart pad was a bit steep it caused a little too much glare for my liking off the lights up on the top, but the angle provided by Incipio's case is a very, very nice angle. And the nice thing is, because this doesn't fold up like a triangle, this, this latch is actually very sturdy when it comes to slipping in. And really I noticed that this latch does come with a bit of a con. I found that sometimes when you don't close it, it doesn't close completely properly and I noticed sometimes when I was charging this on my desk this wasn't 
completely closed properly with the latch open and sometimes it it would cause a smart cover to accidentally turn off and on off and on my ipad and i noticed that kind of did drain my battery when i was expecting it to be charged the other thing i did notice is if you've got really short nails or you don't have very good grip Getting, taking this out was a bit of a chore because there is just so much friction you can't actually, you, I found it was nearly impossible to just quickly take it off like this. You really had to dig your nails into it and pull it out. For some people it may not be a problem, for me I found it was a little frustrating at times, but once I got a hang of it it wasn't that bad. I guess personally coming from a I'm using a smart cover every day. I found this was a bit of a hassle that I really did not like. However, it gives this latch does give it a very very sturdy base when you're you're resting your iPad in a viewing or typing mode. So I guess it's it's a bit of a trade-off that you've got to consider. Overall, I really I like this case quite a bit. There there are two really uh, major issues that I didn't like, and that is the clasp and the fact that it does kind of turn off and on the iPad. This, the seal wasn't that great. I found it wasn't. It got a little better with the more I used this case and the more this this hinge softened. However, it didn't get that much better. So if you do get this case, you have to make you will have to consciously keep this case closed. Overall, I would like to probably give this, I would actually, not probably, I will give this this case a 7.5 out of 10 capsules for a good angle, a good feel, a good feel in the hand, and a very tight clasp system. However, I do have to take marks off simply because this clasp system does kind of cause the smart cover magnet to trigger on the iPads, and the fact that this clasp can be a bit of a pain in the butt to handle. If you want to know more about the Incipio Lexington, check out our full written review below at www.capsulecomputers.com.